Showtime Television Network proudly presents HTBD, How to Become a Dancer, an introspective look into the business of exotic entertainment. I'm your host, Fatima Taylor. How many of you secretly long to become a dancer but are too afraid of what others might think to ask? Or how about all you new booties on duty that get on stage and don't know which way is up? Well, this show is for you. I promise. HTBD will be as informative as it is taboo. We'll cover club selection, licensing, hair, costume, makeup, how to make the money, and how to keep it. Join me as I take you on a tour from the inside out. Hi all, thanks for joining me on this episode of HTBD. I'm your host, Fatima Taylor. In this episode, we'll be demonstrating makeup. So in season one, if you recall, I demonstrated the eye, the foundation, and the mascara. By eye, I mean shadow. In this episode, we're going to do lips and blush. So I've gone on ahead and filled in a little bit my blush, just in the interest of time, because I know the last episode was really, really lengthy. But what I've done is I've got me a cream-based blush, and I'm going to just blot a good, clean sponge in it, and then I'm going to right on the bulb of my cheekbone and then along the eye socket and once I've got a nice pink rouge going on there I'm gonna pull down 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 towards my jawline and out 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 towards my hairline down 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 and in towards my nose and I'm gonna repeat that process until it's good and blended and then I'm gonna go over to the other cheek again blot and bulb press press I've got a nice rougey kind of fill in, and then I'm gonna pull, 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 pull. Like you need me to say pull all those times, right? <laughs> all right, out towards the hairline, down towards the jawline, give it a good blend, and then I'm gonna go over the bridge of my nose. So I want some color there too. And then if you want, you can go down to your chin and up to your forehead and out to your hairline just to kind of fill in that color so that the color is even, evenly spreaded or distributed throughout your face. Log on to www.showtowntv.com. That's SHO-TownTV.com. The Showtown Television Network where you are a star. Got a concept or show idea? Think you could be the next Oprah or Dr. Phil? Want to host your own video talk show? Why not make yourself a soap star? Bring your ideas to life at Showtown for free. That's right, free. Record, produce, and edit your own television show at Showtown for free. Send an email today to talent at ShowtownTV.com. That's Showtown Television Network. We're not a website. We're Internet TV. And then, because I like a little shimmer with my sugar, I'm going to go into a nice bronze blush. Uh, and you can go according to your skin tone. That's as light or as shimmery as you need to go. So I'm going to use this one here, the darker one, and brush off my brushes a little bit. Just so that I get a little shine over that pink. And I'm going to fill, fill, fill. Now watch with this shimmer. I go down, but I'm also going to go up. Because I like to get that shimmer beneath, just right into the eye socket too. And closer in towards the eye. Okay, because that gives you a nice luminous and kind of iridescent eye. Or iridescent eye, if you will. And down. I got quiet again, y'all. I'm focused. That's my thing. That's how you know I'm, I'm into it. And up. Now, also, what you can do to give yourself a brighter, more a, a, awake eye is to go in with some white concealer here or some white shadow and just right underneath your eye socket you want to lighten it up i'm not doing that now but i'm just that's just for the sake of knowing in the interest of time i'll spare you that but that's just so you know that you know how to do it 